Hi, my name is Alex Gunzi from Expertise Team and today I'm going to show you how to generate a SOAP endpoint from a simple SAP function group within a few minutes. You can easily apply this approach in any scenario when you have a function group with one or more remote enabled function modules that you want to wrap inside into a SOAP-based web service to make available for external systems that understand SOAP messages. I have already prepared my objects for the sake of the simplicity, namely the function group called Z Project Ranker that contains two remote enabled function modules, the Z Get Projects and the Z Get Free Budget. Before we start generating our SOAP web service, first let me introduce them. The function module, the Z Get Projects, has a simple import parameter called with status. This parameter will serve for filtering the projects by their status. The with status parameter is optional. That means if we don't send anything for the status, then we can get the whole list of projects. After that, let's look for the function module called Z Get Free Budget that gives back the available free budget and mandates for the given year through its export parameter. Now, as you got familiar with my functions and the task, it's time to put it into practice, so let's get started. We are going to generate our SOAP-based web service by using the menu Utilities. Within that we choose the menu option More Utilities. Then the Create Web Service and finally the option from the function group. It doesn't matter which function module you are in, since we are going to generate the web service based on our function group that contains both of the function modules. This brings us the web service creation wizard where we can easily specify the main properties of the web service. The service definition is going to be Z project ranker and then we set the description simply to project ranker. On the next page we can see that the system has already looked up for the technical name of our function group, so we can go on without any action. After that, we have to select the function modules that we want to offer by the web service. So let's select both of them and click continue. Since we are preparing for a demo, we only want to apply a simple basic authentication. So let's choose the security profile authentication with the user and password, no transport guarantee and click continue. On the next screen, we are going to choose the option local objects because we don't plan to transport these objects to any production system now. On the last screen, the system informs us about that the generation doesn't include any runtime releases. It's only about generating the web service definition itself. The runtime releases can be created in the transaction SOA manager. Let's apply the settings and generate our SOA based web service by pushing the button finish. Once the system generated it successfully, we arrive to the maintenance screen of the service definition where we are going to activate it only. To create runtime releases, let's open the transaction SOA manager that is a WebDIM Pro based application. On the web browser, as you can see, there is a lot of settings about the web services, but now we are going to choose the menu item, web service configuration. In this screen, we are going to look up for our service definition, Z project ranker. Then we select our service definition in the result list and click apply selection. After that, let's click on the tab configuration and then click on the button Create to create a new service runtime configuration. We are going to name our service to Z Project Ranker and we set the description Project Ranker Service and then we are going to create a new binding for our service with the technical name Z Project Ranker. Here I would like to mention that we are able to create more binding configuration for a service with different configurations for different purposes. If we are done, 
we can apply the settings. As I mentioned before, we are going to use a simple HTTP protocol without any transport guarantee with a simple user and password authentication for the sake of the simplicity. Let's make the settings and save it. Once the system saved our configurations on the tab Overview, we can check our completed WVSD document that the service client is going to use to generate its proxy to reach our services. If we copy and paste this URL to a web browser, we can simply display its content. Here you are, we are done with the development of our SOAP service. Now, using this WVSDL, we are able to call this web service in any client application, whether it's a desktop, a web or a mobile application. If you have any further question or you want to share your experiences, please don't hesitate to leave me a comment and I'm going to answer it as soon as possible. That's all for today, so see you next time.